This is an example of fluorescence decay time measurement. I'm going to use one of the easy tau wizards. I'm using the fluor time 300 spectrometer and my sample changer is already loaded with the sample and with a cuvette with Ludox solution. We start with an empty workspace and call the appropriate wizard. In the first step, one has to define some basic experimental conditions. Let's describe the sample. Pick a solvent. Choose a username. It is possible to set the sample temperature or to start the stirrer if necessary. The most important is to choose a suitable excitation source from the available options. Similarly, one can select a suitable photomultiplier and grating combination. If the emission wavelength is known, it can be directly entered, otherwise EasyTo can find it. The wizard will now perform a quick emission scan and determines the wavelength with the maximum of the emission. At this moment we are ready for the next step. This optimizer tries to find the best hardware settings for a measurement of a correct and complete decay curve. This is not a simple task. Several factors have to be taken into account, including the laser repetition rate, the temporal bin width of the TCSPC electronics, and the signal count rate. The task is now finished. The decay curve fits nicely into the available time range determined by the highest possible repetition rate which is applicable for this sample. The detection count rate is adjusted to be roughly 1% of the repetition rate. We can now move forward and acquire a final decay curve. The wizard automatically acquired a histogram according to the default stop condition. In this case, it is 10,000 counts in the peak. If necessary, the histogram can be remeasured with a different stop condition. The next step is to acquire an instrument response function in order to be able to perform a rigorous decay curve analysis later on. The scattering sample has now been moved into the beam pass. The detection wavelength has been set to that of the excitation source. The wizard has to find an optimal count rate for this new sample. Afterwards, we can record an instrument response function. At this point, the measurement procedure is completed. We can exit the wizard and the result will be saved and transferred to the workspace. Rigorous data analysis is just two clicks away. EasyTau starts the established flow of it with the just acquired TCSPC histograms already preloaded. We try to fit a simple single exponential decay model to the data. Let's simply press the start button. The result is a perfect single exponential reconvolution and a lifetime of 2.5 nanoseconds. 